You're watching Fox 9 Mornings. Uh, first of all, we're going to check in with M.A. Roscoe, who's at the Sheraton Bloomington with a hotel geared toward millennials. When Hotel Sofitel became the Sheraton Bloomington, they rethought everything from the rooms to the dining room. Actually, it's restaurant Layla. I'm M.A. Roscoe. We'll take you inside to see how millennials are being targeted. A good steak is a good way to start. That story is coming up. Time now is 646. Traditional hotel brands are starting to look at millennials because younger people see hotels much differently. There's an increase in competition from Airbnb and other home sharing sites. Plus, we got millennials. They just aren't that brand loyal. M.A. Roscoe takes us to the newly revamped Sheraton Bloomington to see how it's changing. You are looking inside the beautiful hotel that used to be known as Sofitel, but it's now the Sheraton Bloomington. And it's not just any hotel. It's sort of ground zero in Sheraton's endeavor to attract new customers and keep the ones that they have. I'm joined by Michael Kappel. And so it's estimated that by 2017, most travelers will be millennials. They'll replace baby boomers as uh, kind of the core consumer group you're going after. What are you doing to attract them? Sure, uh, great question. And uh, one of the things that we did is um, last year we completed a $15 million renovation um, we were passionate to keep it invested in the community locally, but part of that really was geared towards what are millennials, what are traveler types doing? They're, they're really changing. They want to be more open. They want to be more on their devices. So we're standing here in the lobby. You'll see that there's a variety of seating vignettes. You can have private meetings for two people. You can have a communal table for uh, a variety of people to make new friends, perhaps. All of equipped you'll see around is power, USB devices, and things to keep you more in the center as it trickles down into from guest rooms to food and beverage outlets. Um, it's really kind of a center for really modern vibrance and energy. You have an opportunity to grab uh, in the morning a, a great cup of coffee by our barista. It's Starbucks coffee. Um, breakfast sandwiches, grab and go items that just make it easy. Um, then in the evening that really transitions from a cafe feel to a bar feel. Technology permeates every space. This is one of your 15 conference rooms. Correct. Yes, yeah, so this is brand, brand spanking new, touchscreen technology, power built into all the tables, in addition to the ability to download an app that allows you to watch your presentation right on your own tablet or laptop. So here we are in a traditional king room, and it feels more like a bedroom than a hotel room kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's really the goal from as you saw in the lobby as we come into the guest rooms too. We really want travelers are a lot more work from home, a lot more are looking at this as their home away from home. So we try to have that feeling to be more residential, um, more flexible. If you see in the flat space over here, you can use that as a desk. It has the power, but more likely people are moving from there to the other side of the room where you know, more travelers are working from a chair. They're working sitting cross-legged from the bed. And some, we've got the power on both sides. Some people may potentially even work from the prone position. Psst, come on in here, no one's looking. This is one of five presidential suites. And this one might be the most presidential of all because Barack Obama himself stayed here last year. And I figure, hey, good enough for him? It's good enough for me. Oh, who knew that? There you go. Now we know. Now we know. But first, let's check in with Emmy Roscoe, joining us from a hotel geared toward millennials. Here at restaurant Layla in Bloomington, once you decide what delicious cut of meat you want, whether it's the cowboy cut or the strip loin, did I get that right? <laughs> yes. Chef Oscar, the strip loin, then you decide what kind of salt you want, whether it's Himalayan, black lava, chipotle, or smoked. Decisions, decisions, decisions. That story is coming up. I'm going to go a little chipotle salt. Well, next year, millennials will replace baby boomers as the main customers that hotels will be targeting. Uh, Sheraton Bloomington is well aware of that. Emma Roscoe shows us how the hotel and new restaurant Layla are taking aim at those new customers. Millennials just don't see hotels the same way, and that's one reason the Sheraton Bloomington has invested $15 million in updating this beautiful lobby, all the rooms, and the new restaurant next door. 
The name of the restaurant is Layla, and I'm joined by Michael Kappel. And first of all, Michael, tell me what type of restaurant you were aiming for here. Sure. We are in the Southern Metro, obviously, and so therefore we wanted to capture a restaurant that was, it's an urban-like restaurant that is in the suburbs. And based on the anchors of the steak and fresh made pasta and seafood crudo, it's a meal that you normally have to seek out downtown, but downtown doesn't speak to everybody mm -hmm. and sometimes that scares people away so we really are a neighborhood restaurant that is for a quite large neighborhood you dine at Eden Prairie, <laughs> Bloomington well they're eating good in this neighborhood I could tell you that much what about the business traveler who might be coming here doesn't want to sit in their room and eat but doesn't necessarily have companions to dine with either sure. yeah that's actually a great point um, we are a big business traveler hotel big leisure traveler hotel and I think the style, as you look around the restaurant, there are a lot of different vignettes. We, we're standing in the bar. There's uh, the bar behind me, high boy tables behind you as well. It really transforms you away from being in a hotel where you truly are in a, something special. But let's get to the food because that is the star of the show here. And I'm joined by Chef Oscar Lafuente. Yes. And uh, tell us, you're serving breakfast now. Yes, we started breakfast about a month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to kind of show some of our new dishes. We have a crust benedict with... Um, uh, you um, said crab benedict, didn't crab you? Crab benedict, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And all this and our classic French omelet. Very nice. Now. The theme of the dinner menu is mm -hmm. crudo, steaks, and pasta. Yes. Now with steaks, you do something a little unusual. You serve flights of salt. Yes, Explain we do. Explain that. We wanted to be completely something different. I mean, we buy the best product that we can. We dry our steaks about between 28 and 36 days on some of them. Um, so so when, when you have a good piece, piece of, of meat steak, like that, you don't need, need a, lot. a lot. No. So instead of flavor in the steak, we wanted our customers to try different flavors. So here you have a bonfire salt, which is a smoked salt with a, um, Chardonnay barrels. Ooh, so if wait, you wait, want something smoke, smoked, smoked yeah. salt with yeah. what? And it's a smoke in, in uh, Chardonnay barrels. So you can add oh something God. to a steak if you like the smoke flavor, but without having to smoke the meat. <laughs> without incinerating it. That's what I normally yeah. do. That is delicious. And so what kind of salt is that? That's chipotle. Chipotle salt? Yep. I think I'll be having salt for lunch today. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not watching my sodium. So somebody that likes it spicy without having to watch, you know, sriracha, everybody, or habaneros, it's just something different. Wow. That is just delicious. Well, thank you so much for joining no. us. Remember, Layla is right here in Blooming. It's like going downtown but you're in Bloomington. Back to you. <laughs>